Last week was a rough week for Kylie Jenner. Kylie finds herself once again under the spotlight. This time, she's being accused of stealing designs from both a cake designer and a clothing line. The Kar Jenners are always being accused of stealing independent artist designs, and this last week, Kylie was the center of two controversies. So let's get into the tea. Starting off with Cakegate. Kylie shared a bunch of pics on Insta showing off her life, and in the last one, people spotted what looks like the blueprints for a perfume bottle. Kylie Cosmetics even jumped in with a comment like, last pic, confirming it's a sneak peek for a new product. Now, with any Kardashian Jenner launch, drama's pretty much a guarantee. Usually, it's about them allegedly copying smaller businesses, and this time is no different. Kylie is being accused of copying an insta-famous cake maker, Amy, from Yip Studios, known for her unique style. Kylie's team contacted Amy from Yip Studios to make a cake for Kylie's perfume launch. Amy had cleared her schedule, and even stopped taking other cake orders to make time for Kylie's cake. She created drafts and vision boards to show Kylie's team what the cake would look like. But, once they found out the cost, Kylie's team said they couldn't afford it, and didn't need the cake anymore. So, Amy, understandably frustrated, spilled the tea on Insta. She posted an email from Kylie's team saying they couldn't afford the cake, and accused them of going for a cheap knockoff instead. Amy even shared the vision board she made for Kylie's team. After posting to her stories on Instagram, Kylie's team scrambled to get Amy to take down the Instagram story exposing the situation. Here's where it gets juicy. Amy accidentally leaked info into Kylie's new perfume. In the story where she showed the vision board, people noticed what seemed like the leaked name of Kylie's perfume, Cosmic, which Kylie hadn't officially announced. Kylie and her team, realizing the leak, asked Amy to take down the stories. This created a buzz around the unreleased perfume, and when Kylie officially announced Cosmic later, it raised questions about the connection between the leaked info and Amy's post. People are calling out Kylie saying she was probably expecting a free cake just for the chance to work with her. A lot of fans defended Amy, saying artists should be paid for their work and not just receive exposure. Amy also says Kylie's team posted the knockoff to her cake that was inspired by her mood board that she shared with her team. As for Amy, she said she didn't get paid for taking down the posts. Lesson learned, she's gonna make sure she gets a deposit before diving into future projects. This whole thing sparked talks about fair play for creatives and how these celeb collaborations usually take advantage of smaller businesses. As for Dressgate, Kylie was in hot water again last week, and this time, it's because she's being accused of stealing ideas from a clothing line. Her latest drop from her clothing line, Kai, is causing a stir, and an Aussie brand is calling her out for stealing their designs. Last year, Kylie hyped up her clothing line, Kai, they promoted it as something fresh, teaming up with different designers for every release, giving us small collections at prices that won't break the bank. At first, it seemed like Kylie had big plans, and the pieces were serving major high fashion looks. But, over time, folks started feeling like Kai was just Skims 2.0. The deja vu hit harder when Kylie rolled out her basics line, which looked identical to Skims. Since the last Kai drop, it's been kind of quiet. Kylie needed something big to make Kai stand out, but her recent announcement about a mesh line just stirred up more drama. Now, Kylie's getting heat for allegedly stealing designs from a famous Aussie brand, Johansson Official, which Kylie has worn before in the past. The owner of Johansson Official went on TikTok, putting Kylie on blast for supposedly stealing their designs. She showed off a dress they've been selling for years, and it looked pretty similar to what Kylie had just released. People even contacted the owner of Johansson Official after Kylie's drop, congratulating her, thinking she teamed up with Kylie for Kai's newest release, since she had dressed Kylie in the past. The owner decided to reach out to Kylie's team to get to the bottom of the situation, and Kylie's team gave her a dismissive response, saying Kylie's designs were all their team's hard work and innovation. Now, some are saying the dress style isn't groundbreaking and has been around forever, but others are side-eyeing Kylie, thinking her version is just too close to Johansson officials to be a coincidence. Kylie's comment section is flooded with folks calling her out for lack of originality and straight up stealing from Johansson Official. Do you guys think Kylie stole ideas from these smaller brands? Do you guys think they look similar? What do you think about all of it? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked watching this video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always stay informed with all the latest celeb news as soon as it's out. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one!